This is a 2012 Jaguar XJ Supercharged. It's a full-size luxury sedan with a big V8 engine and a lot of luxury trimmings and upscale features. And it has a trunk that can do this. Oh, and it's worth about as much as a nice version of the Honda CR-V. I've rented this particular XJ Supercharged in Atlanta, Georgia through Turo, which is this service where you can rent out other people's cars, sort of like a car version of Airbnb. Now, Turo's given me a budget to rent out some cool, quirky, unusual, weird cars that I can't get any other way, and I decided to start with this XJ Supercharged for one simple reason, because depreciation has wreaked havoc on this thing. Allow me to give you the numbers, and as always, you can check them out in greater detail if you click the link below to read my column about this car on autotrader.com slash oversteer. Now, back when this car was new, four years ago, its MSRP was $89,600, and that was before options. Add those in, and this thing probably left the showroom with a sticker price of around $100,000. Now, today, four years later, thanks to the magic of Jaguar depreciation, the average asking price for one of these on Autotrader is $35,000. That's the same price as a brand new Honda CR-V Touring. And look at all the cool stuff you get. For example, there's this giant wood panel that goes across the entire top of the dashboard. Classy. The gear selector rises from the center console. There's this blue clock that gives the interior an expensive feel. There's a mode for everything. Traction control off, race, age, sex, language, and in case a giant snowflake attacks the car. The gauge cluster is fully digital and kind of cool. How many sunroofs are there? Well, there's one and two. For $35,000. That's not even enough to buy sponsorship signage at a minor league hockey game. Look at this cool rear turn signal. It's barely even a turn signal. It's more of an LED light strip that tells other drivers what direction you may choose to proceed if you desire. The leather lined cabin is trimmed with gorgeous, comfortable material and these cool white seat accents that add a little character and flair. Even though this isn't the L version, the rear is tremendously roomy, with more than enough space for a box of mostly full yogurt-covered pretzels, or a box of mostly eaten yogurt-covered pretzels. There are little Jaguar emblems debossed into the front headrests, and the rear headrests. The front seats are heated and, naturally, also cooled. But the best part is the massage feature. Mmm, Jaguar massage. The cool LCD gauge cluster tells you which of your passengers are buckled in, although it doesn't account for yogurt-covered pretzels. In between the front seats, there's a roomy center console where I have placed my iPhone charger brick, which I will undoubtedly forget when I return the car. For $35,000. That's not even enough to buy landscaping for the parking lot of a small suburban office park. And it isn't just the luxury equipment that makes this a lot of car for the money. Consider this, under the hood of this $35,000 luxury car is a 470 horsepower supercharged V8. It does two things. Number one, it propels the car from zero to 60 in 4.5 seconds, which may not seem like much until you remember that this car is approximately the size of a regulation basketball court. Number two, it allows the car to sound like this. For $35,000, that's not even enough to buy a manatee. And the $35,000 XJ has some other benefits. For example, its design. I've always felt this style was one of the most beautiful on the market with gorgeous, sweeping, flowing lines that still look modern today, even though this style is already more than five years old. I especially think it's attractive when you compare it to certain competitors. It's also surprisingly exciting to drive, as I shall now demonstrate. 
Okay, so I've mostly been joking around in this video, but I actually do really like how this car drives. I'm really surprised by it. I've driven all the full-size luxury sedans except for the new 7 Series, and I'm really impressed with how sporty this feel. This thing is like athletic. It, it changes directions quickly. It's incredibly fast. It feels even more athletic than a Panamera, which is stunning to me. I will admit openly, this is not sports car handling. Car reviewers say that about some luxury sedans. Oh, it handles like a sports car. No, it doesn't. None of them do. This one doesn't either. But it handles better than you'd probably expect a full-size luxury sedan to, and it certainly handles better than you'd expect a full-size Jaguar to. You would think this car with 470 horsepower and zero to 60 in four and a half seconds that acceleration would be the best part, and it is massively quick. But actually, the handling is the best part. It changes directions fast. It can sort of zoom in and out of places. It feels like a car that isn't as heavy and as large as I know it is. The ride is definitely harsher than an S-Class, probably even a little bit harsher than a Panamera. I certainly don't want to make the impression that I'm saying it's like an exotic sports car and all that. It doesn't feel like that. It just feels better than a luxury sedan should. And most importantly, with this level of power and this level of comfort and this level of refinement, it feels a lot better than a $35,000 car should. Now, I know what you're thinking. Sure, it's only $35,000 to buy. But let's be honest here, we're talking about a used Jaguar. Isn't it gonna cost me $35,000 a year to replace the whole electrical system when the power mirror control and the stereo volume switch randomly decide to swap functions? Good question, but here's the crazy thing. You can still get this car with a warranty. Jaguar's certified pre-owned program covers cars for up to six years from when they're first sold. And CarMax will sell you a five-year warranty from the day you buy it. And that's what makes this car such an amazing value. You can have all the cool stuff I just told you about and you don't really have to worry about it breaking down. And that's why this car is an enormous amount of car for the money. And anyone who owns one should send a thank you note to the gods of depreciation. Unless, of course, they bought it new. Whoa.